you have an injury, you have a uh, uh, distal radius fracture. What happened today? Can you tell me? All right, I was uh, doing a yard maintenance in the back of a yard where they had uh, two fountains on each side of me. The old brick there was slick as ice, and I had a blow on my back, and I slipped, and I tried to catch myself with my hand on the wall. Of, sure. Because the brick wall there where the fountains were at, and I went straight down in the fountain. And the blower stuck, I got my back stuck, and you know, I was stuck in there, and my blower kept running. That would have been worth the video in <laughs> yeah, itself, I yeah. think. And the blower was stuck, and I was finally wiggled enough to get out of there. Okay. And then I looked at my hand, and I said, oh my God, I broke my wrist. All but, right, you know, so they're going to be doing a hematoma block, and uh, so if you just tell us what you're doing while we're doing it. So uh, for the hematoma block, we're going to put the needle in the hematoma right at the fracture side, and... Uh, aspirate part of the blood out and put some lidocaine in the hematoma. We were back and forth several times. When do you decide to do a hematoma block and when, when don't you do a hematoma block? So on the distal radius fracture we pretty much always do a hematoma block. How do you decide where to put the needle? Uh, do you find the uh, fracture line, the frac fracture site? It's usually at the deformity site. I see a little blood coming back, so you aspirate yeah. and I'm pushing in and yeah. aspirate. So you think your needle right now is is deep into the yeah. into the fracture. Right. How much uh, lidocaine do you put in there? Uh, about seven, eight cc's. Not the needles out. Are you feeling any pain? Oh, I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> I just didn't want to look at no needle in my offset. Okay, I just... right. You can do either way. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay, full traction. You want to tell me what you're doing? So we are putting the lens back to the normal. And uh, it's definitely. Uh, and uh, radially displaced. You need to get counter deviation back and uh, molar tilt back. I feel a bit of it all. I just get up. Good man. I just didn't feel the big uh, clip. Apple, like sometimes you'll. Another shot there, or you have to use that. Okay. Get it. Get it. Yeah. Yeah. How are you feeling? Good. Okay. No pain? No pain at all.